Hello everyone, it's Tomo Seven Seven. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Silica. It's been a little bit, but that's fine. We're back checking out the new stuff that is currently in the arena mode. Um, right now it's not fully in the game yet, it's just kind of being tested, right? Set this to like 18. Let's go Rift Basin. Um, and so there's new air units, right? So like, it's pretty cool. Um, there's some for both teams, and they said that there's going to be more on the alien side here soon. They're not in yet, but we do have some of our initial ones. There's also some other new vehicles. I'm going to hop in the vehicles first. And by new vehicles, I mean there's only like a couple of them. There's this one here. I don't know what it is. It's a... It's a Humvee, more or less. Uh, it looks like it might be some kind of small troop carrier, maybe early game. I don't know. I guess it's as good as mine. Uh, I need to find someone to die on, though. Uh, I'm being shot at. Is it a tank? Or is it a scout? That's just a scout. I need something that's gonna actually ouch. I should have put more people. Oh, no. I heard tanks. Haha! Big! I see a big in the corner. Something to die on. Oh, I see two bigs. Mm. Also, if you're not aware, there is an arena mode, right? Like, this is... That's what I'm in right now. The arena mode is completely unbalanced. Uh, pick your favorite unit. Kill. Right? I think there is technically a winner and a loser. Ooh. But that doesn't matter for us. Damn, that guy just got destroyed. Hi, Mr. Goliath. Now, this thing doesn't have any weapons or anything, so it's kind of really susceptible to, you know dying um the next thing is another transport i know for a fact this one is a transport i don't know how many it can transport because we haven't found that out yet but this one has a gun at least it's kind of like a grenade launcher actually it looks like oh it has two guns actually no it has two it has a machine gun and a grenade launcher okay once again it is quite the uh there's a siege tank around Oh yeah, I see it. But yeah, it's got a grenade launcher. It's pretty alright. Um, it's cur I'm currently being targeted by siege tanks, so I expect to die here in the next... that that long. Um, but it's nice. It, it'll be good to have something to transport soldiers around, because the soldiers are re really slow. So I'm hoping these are better. They have done a, little, a couple balance passes on the air units, just because the human ones were super fast. And now they, they're, they're more manageable, and I think it's better, but they were faster, and it was genuinely terrifying like bugs were obsolete kind of fast but this might be a little more doable it's still not super balanced i don't know how you balance it until you get proper anti-air in especially for the bugs the bugs definitely need an anti-air because right now they have what the impalers the scorpions and the behemoths the behemoths are the closest they have to anti-air and that's a fairly limited range and they're really slow um so if these things just run away, they won't take any damage. But let's hop in the first one. Now, I don't know what any of these are called. I can't see them because... Um, oh, let me shot it. Ow, 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 ow. Stop it. Come over here. I don't know what this thing is, and I can't see the names of any of them because it doesn't display them, I don't think, right? No, it does not display them. This one appears to be some kind of like helicopter gunship thingy. As you see, this is the fastest air unit. It can strafe, it can go up, down. They can also land if you get close enough to the ground, it'll blow landing gear. This one comes equipped with a minigun. It's pretty alright. And then, it has another weapon here, which I'll try and use on something that I can actually hit. Yeah, this guy right here. It's a minigun, goes, you know, burr, right? Pretty decent damage. But then you just have missiles. They're, they seem to be very similar to the ones that the heavy uses, the heavy soldier. And they're on a recharge, so they're not like instant on how many they have, but... Getting the spool up on this. So like, the minigun doesn't do anything with this guy, right? But the missiles do decent chunks. And like I say, the air units, or, or the bugs are kind of screwed. Um, but if you're playing human versus human, it's not as big of a deal because everything's ranged, but... Whoa! <laughs> yeah, okay, see. So that one's not that heavy, not that tanky. It's made to be fast, loose missiles. Do a gun run, get the hell out. Then you have this one. This is a medium fighter, I guess I would call it. And it's got itself a beefier gun. 
This one seems more like the, um... Can you leave me alone? Fuck off. Uh, this one seems more like the commando gun versus the other one, which seems like the light quads gun. Ish. But this one seems like more like a rapid fire commando gun. But you'll see that it has two secondaries. One, and by two secondaries, I mean only two charges. And they are just really big cruise missiles. Like, they are big boys. And they make a big kaboom. All the humans have afterburn as well. If you press shift, they zoom a little bit faster, right? So I've got a wonderful contestant over here who's willing to let me try... Ooh! Try to hit it. So you see that its gun does a little bit more damage, but not much. But then also, the cruise missiles are just... Big chunks. This thing is going to be a menace. The bugs, if you're doing humans versus aliens, it's going to be rough with those poor bugs. It's just going to be rough, man. I don't know how else to describe it. Any light infantry caught out by these things, especially if they're human controlled, are just com going to be completely screwed. I haven't seen how the AI handles them, so it's possible that they're really bad, like me. Um, okay. Then we have the third transport, I think, unless the, the very first vehicle isn't a transport by the humans. This seems to be an air transport. It has a gun. It's a very slow firing, what is that, seven round? Two, three, four, five, six, no, six round gun. Very nice slow firing. Um, this thing's not super heavily armored. When it hits, it does do a decent amount of damage, but you gotta actually hit him. Which I have not done yet. Smile. Cool. Um, this thing is definitely med meant to be in, in air transport. I would like to go down, though. If you hold control, you'll go down, and eventually it'll, it'll deploy landing gear. You definitely don't also don't want to be in the line of fire of a siege tank when you're doing this, but uh, you can offload a bunch of your soldiers, I would assume, and then you kick the engines back on, and this one. This one does not have afterburners. This one and the next two do not have afterburners. So then we have the final air unit for the humans, at least as of right now. And that is this fucking strategic bomber. It's a big boy. It, uh... Ow! You fuck! Oh, railgun tank hurts a lot. It has a double fire main gun, which is real big. I don't know if it's a cannon, what, but it thunk, 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 thunk. It hurts a lot. But the cool thing about this one, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it off to you in this life, because I'm, yeah. Because, like, I'm, I took a lot of damage right there because I just got instantly shot by the railgun tank. And just like that, huh? <laughs> Smile. That's great. Um, I can actually hit this guy before he kills me. Okay, we're gonna bomb him. We're gonna bomb him right now. You just drop bombs like that, right? They go down, they're nice and slow, and they just blow up entire things. It's a really slow recharge, though. I don't know who's launching missiles at me, but they are, like, getting very close. I'm guessing it's this guy here. But yeah. Thunk, thunk. You can see how much damage that's doing to him. Ow! I want to get close to a thing I can actually tank it. Uh, it does have a decent uh, explosive radius, so if you see infantry, you can just make them not be anymore. It's great. Um, it's cool. But yeah, no, so they just come out of that little rack down there. And you can just thunk, 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 and you can space them out however you want. You can hold it down for rapid fire, and they just fall. I think the way to do this against the AI is just get really high in the air, so you're not getting shot at very much. And then just kind of rod from God them a little bit. I think this is max height. It's not super high in the air, but you just fly and then you can just carpet bomb everything you see, like that Goliath over there, right? Yeah, Goliath. God, they are slow though, and like I said, this these ones don't have afterburners at all. Once you get above the once you get to the transport, they don't have the big the thing anymore. So, they are as fast as they are as fast. Granted, this thing still hauls. All of the aircraft are still really fast. And there's a siege tank right up here that I would love to drop some bombs on, just so you guys can see how much damage it does. Because it hurts a lot. Um, the siege tank is at about a quarter health, which is... Ow! Fuck you! <laughs> I'm about Rogan tank still operational somewhere, so let's do this quick if I can. I'm looking on the map to see where he is, right? And I'm just gonna kinda... Like that. That's roughly the right direction. 
And hopefully we survive long enough to see these bombs hit. I hope. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's dead. It, it's dead. And that was like half of my payload, so that's... You could probably take out a siege tank with one full volley, maybe. Thunk, thunk. This one has a lot of health left, so... What if we just kind of, like, do one of these? And they will eject slightly behind you, so... Or, like, if you're angled down, they won't go straight out. Yeah. It, it, it does a lot of damage. You can say that. Am I gonna die before I can kill him, though? Bam! Ah. Uh, well, shit. It's okay, there's a siege tank over here. I can die fast. Uh, this brand new unit, the Scorpion, that we've never seen before is, uh, very different and- Hey! Hey, you! Fuck with. Yeah, you! What you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. You ain't gonna do shit about me. Not at all. I think there's something underneath of it. It's a heavy quad. Gross. Is there another thing? Do you need help? Do you need help, Mr. Man? Are you stuck? What's happening to you? I don't know what's happening. Hey you! I'm here. Deal with me. Yeah, there you go. Shoot me! Shoot me! No? Is he one of your friends? Let's be friends. If we just like crawl up underneath here. Oh my god, this actually does a lot of damage. I didn't think it did. There we go. Problem solved. Ah, there was another thing under there. What was it? Oh my god, really? You were what was causing the freak out? I don't know if your best idea was to approach a scorpion, but... He's gone. Enemy. Aha! This can kill me. Ow. You know, for how cool this gunship thing is and how slow the vehicle is, it doesn't do nearly enough damage. Like, it hurts, but it doesn't do nearly enough. For something this cool and this slow and, like, that situational, it needs to evaporate things if it hits. Like, it should be a one-shot on Scorpions, right? It should be very strong, personally. It's close range, it's a big target. If it hits the ground at all, it stops. It's just not that good. Next, we have the bugs flying things. And right here, we have this one. If you hold shift with these guys, you actually slow down in the air. Um, it's a nice... Whoa! I gotta find a place where I'm not gonna die immediately, because this thing is essentially a flying crab. It's not... Doesn't have a lot of health. It's not it's very fast, but it doesn't have a lot of health. So if you get hit, it kind of hurts a lot. You can walk around. You have a bite, and then when you're in the air, you have your sting. Your sting hurts a lot. Maybe not to vehicles, but to infantry, this thing is going to be a menace, especially when you get a bunch of them. It's going to be a monster. But also the fact that you can just like s fly up to things, especially vehicles like this, where you can just get on the backside of their gun. <laughs> And what are they going to do about it? Nothing. Oh god, I'm getting shot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, see, like, well, if you get shot, it hurts a lot. But he's really cool. Next is going to be the midsize. Now, this is a flying impaler. You have a ranged... Thunk, 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 thunk. Right? See? You get that? And you have your big-ass scorpion tail. It's pretty cool. Um, you are not as fast as the other guy, and once, but once again, you can land. So, I, 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 I envision a time where you will just have these things everywhere like lining ravines and as soon as anything shows up you, you all take off and just immediately start attacking things there's a goliath which i can oh let me learn now when you're in the air it's hard to hit things the bugs air units are very vulnerable to to death i'm gonna pick this one up again because i did want to go stab something with a little more health so you can see it um i just got sniped by something i don't know what the hell that was but i got sniped um and so we're going to check this out and see if I can get close enough. So, like, it doesn't do much damage, right? Like, the, the shooting doesn't do a lot. As you can see with me shooting this Goliath, it's not doing anything. However, the sting does a little bit. 
It's not a lot, but it's something. And the fact that it's just non-cooldown, you can just stab the shit out of things. Especially if you can, like, land on them and not get rolled on. I got rolled on. Unfortunate. But, you know. It's cool. Then the final bug unit. Now this thing, I think, is the competitor to the siege tank. It is very... Well, it's not super tanky because it can fly. But it hurts. A lot. I don't know if I like how they did it. But I don't know how you would compete with it either. It is the eye. The orb. So you see that I have a big eye right in the front. That's also my weapon. Because this big rotund motherfucker has a death death ball. So you'll see a pulse tank right in front of us. If I just click, right? It starts charging. And this is gonna... Oh, it didn't hit me. And then I just kind of... No more pulse tank. It's just that simple. <laughs> it is a very slow fire rate. It is a big lad. And it has a decent range to it. Now I don't know how long that range is, but it's a ways. So there's a siege tank I can see right there, right? It's a ways out. It's all blurry, all hazy. But I still have the ability to target it. So if I just play my cards right, I can just detonate things from across the map. I like it. I don't like it. I don't like it because I feel like it goes against the whole you're an insect bug thing. I feel like that was something they had really strong for them. So I don't know how I feel about hot air balloon with a fucking railgun. But it does take a lot of damage. Like it, it, It's not weak. Oh, well, I mean, it, it's very strong. It just ate a siege tank round and only took a quarter damage. But if it gets focused down, it dies pretty fast. I do like it. I think it's cool. I think the idea is neat. I just don't know if I like it as far as like bug goes. Can I shoot all the way out there? I actually don't know. And there's, of course there's nothing over here to shoot at me. I lie, there's something shooting at me. Yeah, no, it's got a lot of range though. So if you were in the way distance, you have a pretty good chance. The downside is if something gets close to you, you cannot shoot down. You need something to help cover the ground area of this. Whether that's just a shitload of flyers. I haven't tested it yet, but now that I think about it, you could probably land a whole bunch of flyers on top of this thing. So if you wanted to, you could have this thing be like a carrier for just hundreds of those little bugs. I don't even know what this is. This is a total waste on what's down there, but it's gone now. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I would like to die, though. Because it has an interesting death animation. Like I said, cool. I think it needs a little refinement, but I think it's neat. They did say that there are a couple more bugs coming. Flying aerial bugs before it goes into the full game. Ow! Like I said, no, that's the second siege tank shot I just tanked. I think here comes a third one. I should be able to... Never mind. There's three siege tank shots. Here's a fourth. The downside is it's just such a slow firing gun, and apparently, if you shoot, if it shoots, it plays a shoot sound, it will still hit, even if you're dead. But yeah, those are the new vehicles. I think I got them all right. I got the 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 um, the, I got the. Why am I pirouetting on the ground? I got the <laughs> I got the Humvee. I got the troop transport with its grenade launcher machine gun combo. I got the gunship, the missile boat, the transport, the strategic bomber. I got the little bug, I got the middle bug, and I got the big bug. So thank you so much for watching. I'm just gonna let my body pirouette on the ground and scratch my new kitty over here. Here. You can see my ugly room, but Kitty. She likes to hang out up here. Say hi, Kitty. Anyway, she's great. That's Butterfinger. She might show up in some videos here soon. But, yeah. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the new video and the new uh, units. Um, God, it's been so long since I've done an outro. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Discord's in the description, join that. I got two sponsorship links down there as well from W Energy and Green Man Gaming. So if you want discounted games, go there, take a look, use my link. Appreciate it. And then the other thing is just G Fuel, but good, cheaper.
good stuff. Also better view. It's got better material, uh, better uh, ingredients. Like, pop it down. Um, thank you for watching. I will see all of you next video. Deuces.